Alright, you see the three behind him, mate? <laughs> Going to you, that's favorite spot. Pop that for again. Kill him. Me and my buddies grew up on the Automaha. Good at making something to do out of nothing at all. We chase white tail bucks, catch a few channel cats. Lord knows it don't get no better than that. That's just a day in the life on the Autumn Hall, yeah. I was born there, raised up right there. Lord, if I was a lucky man, I'd still be there. Down in the swamp there, that's where I come from, y'all. Them old banks of the Autumn Hall. All right, welcome this week at Autumn Hall River Sportsman. Um, we're going to make this short and sweet. We get every opportunity to go to Louisiana. We get to go hunt and hunt with some of our buddies, Gabe Lalon and uh, Patrick Abear. Patrick has a place out in the marsh and he lets us go hunt there some. And we're able to take the cameras and get some film. Caleb and myself and Gabe Lalon and Kaysen went out and we had a pretty good shoot. And we put it on film. What you saying, Bubba? It was pretty good. Patrick K. Bear's got a pretty little place out there near Little Pecan. And uh, he set us up on a good shoot. And we took our sweet time getting some shots. And hopefully y'all enjoy. Oh, well, y'all better shoot before that. Really? Well, I mean, we shot all teal. So, yeah. So, they hit some of these early. Um, I mean, they flew. They were flying their ass off all day. Uh -huh. When I worked on the blind, they flew all day. <laughs> And y'all won't believe the spot that Patrick A. Bear has out there. Um, you get in one big boat that feels like you're riding in a battleship, you ride for a little while, and you cross into cross their private dike into their private land and hop in the mud boat, and then you ride out to the blind. Um, uh, y'all probably see a little bit of it. Gabe actually gets out of the boat, rides it back, then rides a P-Row back to the blind, puts the P-Row back in the blind, and then he climbs in. Um, man, they've got a setup out there. If you could climb in this pit blind and see what they've got, it is amazing. Need a part right here. Down he guns y'all bring it Habitat, man, where we were, it was perfect habitat. Yeah, perfect. And got the water level right, you know, decoy set up perfect where they're decoying right in your face. It, it's just an amazing set. Really good. I think you'll enjoy it. It's, uh, duck hunting's uh, really tough to film and we're getting better at it, but I hope we we're able to pick out some shots and I hope you enjoy it. Um, whenever you get a chance to go, go to Louisiana. They got, you get a large variety. You don't get all the greenheads that you want, but you get a large variety of gal wall, and we call it Louisiana Limits, and that's what we picked out here.
we've been invited by our, uh, our buddy Gabe Lalonde and a friend of his, Patrick Avery, over to Patrick's place to do some filming and shoot some ducks. It's early in the season, it's really the third day of the season, but the, uh, the blue wings are in here pretty thick. So hopefully we'll get on some birds and get some shooting right here tonight. <laughs> hauling the mail so I just got to go ahead and squat and turn in. All they did was pick up and boogie. Good shooting there guys. And that was a different diver diver diver. Swingers. Yes, sir. A single right there, thing. Coming over your head. Great green one, you can see him from a mile away. You said I killed that one? You see that band on his leg right there? Yeah. Well, so was that one that um, 
You don't see that one back there? Might have been a what? Uh, 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 no. I like one behind the blind too. No. Yeah. I got it. I need you to. I need Dave to combo on this one right here and then. I got a little ball on the third. Yeah, I can put it right here. Probably in the line or right behind it. Oh, yeah. I can't see it either. It's cleaned up. You talk about badass TV right there, son. That's what I'm talking about. Get all that? I didn't have it on record. Man. <laughs> all them mounts, three hits. Yeah, yeah, fine. <laughs> hey, man, we record. Hey, one slipping out of here. Turning them circles. Hey, 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 Keep up with it with that uh, Benelli in the corner then.
State loses two or three games, and yeah. you know, I mean, there's some things that can happen. But I think I didn't look at the <laughs> ranking that they want. Does Oregon have a pack club? Yeah, they got a yeah. pack club championship. So that could eliminate them. Yeah. But this is the question I asked Daddy. So Georgia loses, say, this weekend to Auburn, beats AM. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we made the SEC championship mm -hmm. with two losses. And meets LSU, number one LSU. Exactly. Then what happens? They go to Orange Bowl. Hey, you got four ducks in four. front. Look, I'm coming, coming at you, Harry. Right at you. Six, seven, oh, oh, that's seven. Eight, nine, ten, twelve. With so those, we got twenty-four. You got twenty-four? Got twenty-four. Oh, in the decoy, Scott. In the decoy. Where was that? <laughs> Back in Cameron Parish, we got Gabe Lalonde and Casey and Caleb. Just got through shooting a limit of ducks. I don't know what I'm supposed to say because he just stole all my thunder from behind the camera. But like he said, just finished up a limit, 24 ducks. Gabe, 
Patrick Hebert, we appreciate them. Brought us on a hunt. Had a great time. Had some decoy ducks. First ones we really had of the season. Gabe, we appreciate it. No Patrick, problem. we appreciate it. Only the beginning, guys. Only the beginning. Beginning of the season, we're gonna shoot a lot more ducks right in the face, so make sure you stay in tune. On Mahal River Sportsman. It's a, a opportunity when you get to go to Louisiana and when you get to go hunt where we got to go hunt. It's a tremendous opportunity. All right, boys. This is what we call Louisiana Limit. We got spoonbills, blue wings, green wings, got a pintail mixed in, got a couple gab wall, got a black duck. This is what you want when you come down here. Mixed bag, all good eating. Glad y'all are here with us, but this is where it ends. We're heading back to Georgia. Hope y'all enjoy. Hey, this is the part we always like to thank our sponsors in, and we can't do it without them. This is really a lot of fun for us. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun, and we couldn't do it without our sponsors. So if you get the opportunity, go by and see them, patronize them, and give them some business. Hey, man, they're the ones that made this happen, and we sure would appreciate it if you'll go by and let them know that you enjoyed all of Mahal River Sportsman. And we'd like to thank Patrick A. Bear and Gabe Lalonde for taking us and putting us on these birds. We've hunt with Gabe hundreds of times. In fact, we'll be going here soon to go hunt with him again. But we hope you enjoyed this episode of All Mahal River Sportsman. And like we always like to say, follow me down to the river or the bayou. Either one, man. If they ducks there, go give it a shot. What you think they know about that old Autumn Hall, Lance? Oh, we done taught them all we know, brother.